So I, I did attend Freedom with my husband, Jason, and that that was a really great experience for us just because we were involved in some other um, groups and organizations, but getting to be a part of uh, a smaller group together was something different for us. And so doing the homework together gave us the opportunity, I think, to talk about our own stuff. Um, it was usually me that had more stuff to talk about than him, but um, God taught me that some of the things that I actually thought I was free from, I wasn't. So just peeling back the layers of the onion and realizing that it's a process, it helped me realize that there are some relationships that I have that need some attention for things that have happened in the past um, and things that I haven't addressed that are hurts or, um, you know, different conflicts that have occurred. And so just knowing, and I haven't done all the work yet, and I know that, and I, but I know that I have to. Um, in order to have freedom from those things and and have in turn I think have better relationships in the future in week nine we talked about the living word and um, ways to meditate on the word of God and Jennifer or or Todd said if you can worry you can meditate and that made me realize how easy it it really is to meditate on the Word of God just by um, finding a scripture that um, that is meaningful and empowering. And for me, Romans eight thirty seven um, is both of those things. It says, "No, in all these things, I am more than a conqueror through Him who loved me." You know, I can't imagine anybody not having something that they would like free freedom from um, and so I guess I would just encourage anybody to go through the class it's always beneficial to spend time just looking at the, the things that are holding you back from the the fullness of life that God wants for you